that's no moon. All right. Uh, so start this off. Just um, tell us what your name is. Yeah, I'm uh, Dustin Grorud. Um from uh, born and raised in South Dakota and uh, spent some time in Kansas. And now I'm out in Colorado with the 5280 crew. 5280. It's a wonderful crew. Very great. Um what faction are you going to be playing this year at Adepticon? And if so, you don't mind sharing, what is your list? So I don't mind sharing, but I'll no. tell you right now, we, we're doing this early enough that like, there's still some possibilities. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's fair. But I'm most, I'm mostly locked into uh, Inquisitors and uh, probably, I'll probably just be Seven Sister is what I'll be looking for. Okay. So, I would say the flavors of that that I'm most interested in right now are an officer, seventh sister, a couple squads of shores, a couple squads of mortars, inferno, two death troopers, and uh, a snow wow. and a med bot and electro binoculars. So super heavy gun line. That's kind of where I'm in right now. But you still have the lightsaber hedge. You, you're. I think. I want to play. Um, I think there's a couple different approaches to late making your list and deciding for worlds. I think mm -hmm. you can meta chase and try and yeah. get the meta and figure it out. Or I think you can try to, instead of trying to, you know, come to a match and maximize your win percentage based on winning the meta game, I think you can come into a match and try to minimize your losing percentage. Okay. And I okay. Think I think that's more where I'm at, where I think there are so many good meta choices right now uh -huh. between um, you know, clones or uh, Ewoks. And, and those, those choices have really diverse needs if you want to fight them and beat them. Yes. Or be them. Yes. Um, so rather than try to maximize, you know, pick the right choice and come into games with a 60% win percentage, I'm trying to minimize the games where I come in with a okay. losing percentage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think to do that, I think you go gun line and you go kind of boring vanilla gun line. But I think the Inquisitors now give you a unique edge that, you know, they would have been weak against some of those other force user melee um skews before and i uh -huh. think the those pieces give you a little bit of chance to to mitigate some of those and push you towards just an all comer you don't care what you're playing yeah uh, play against anything so, so what's unique about the inquisitor that's like enabling this the cost okay the cost. that's that's it yeah yeah, yeah. your force you have force push on a cheap enough unit that um, you still just get the meatiest of meaty gun lines, yeah, and still have a force push, um, and you still have you know for the empire you still have pretty good uh, unit. I mean, you don't have unit control. I think that you know the the uh, you have unit control on seventh sister, and that's about it. Okay, um, okay. I think that's where I'm struggling. You know the the other choices, the other ways that I would go with it would be. You know, just all in on the gun line, and I've been playing um, a lot of remnant, and and I think that's going all in on gun line. Yeah, um, I think yeah. I think those gun, I think it's the best gun line out there, but I think it it's a little more weak to the force user, and man, when you get Wookies in your lines and those those things it's are over. not shooting and they're punching, yeah, it's it's bad news bears um absolutely that makes me hesitant for those and then the really i probably the question is the 10 activation gun line or even push it to like a 12 activation gun line and incorporate some e-webs but then okay. you're losing some of the death trooper heavy hitter um in your yeah 
Do you think there's going to be enough Pierce out there that your death troopers need to be worried? I think they should be, especially because yeah. I think people will be trying to chase the uh, the clone Pierce trying to for the Pierce clones. clones. Yeah, so I, that's kind of where I push. You got the med bot though, right? The ten activation and get a med bot. Um, I don't know. I I think twelve activation gives you. It's more skew. I mean that that list by pushing it to higher activation gives you more game with the high you know with the good things that come with that right but you lose some of the pieces that let you deal with some of the threats that are out there so does your 12 act still include the seventh sister yeah the 12 I act mean, right there you 12 go. act right now would be uh veers a seventh okay. sister a stormtrooper squad with uh, some goodies on it a couple shores a couple mortars three e-webs and a couple strike teams okay so I've played it. It's really meaty, um, but you yeah. just have so many red saves. Yeah. Yeah. I'm jealous. We'll see, <laughs> we'll see where, we'll see where we end on that. Um, okay. okay. I, I don't, uh, the shores, you know, they used to be more efficient. I still think they're pretty efficient. Um, I, I, I what I like about the 10 act list is, you know, the range four, you're just you just have tons of punch at range four. Yeah. Once you work in. So yeah, we'll absolutely. Shores and death troopers. That's where sure. I'm at right now. Okay, okay. So we kind of talked about the strengths of that. Um, what would you think the flaw of that kind of list would be? What would its weakness what are you afraid of think, with that list? I think the things I'm scared of are the bounty hunters, you know, with the officer and with Seven Sister, you know, the, yeah. they will, Seven Sister's probably going to die. And, uh, it, you know, it kind of depends on how the game plays out. Um, I think the goal of the list is not to have a ton of weaknesses. So against those bounty hunter lists, you just end up playing very conservative and you're fine. You know, if she does nothing and then on turn six makes a move in, does a force push, and does an objective you're probably you know for 100 points 130 points that's oh, fine like yeah. that's pretty good value yeah um so but you're still vulnerable to it you know they can die a whole lot faster than you'd like mm -hmm. and the officer kind of needs to be up there passing aims um, to get the value you need out of inferno and um so that's i'm afraid fair. of bounty hunters and there's only so much, man. You know, if Wookiee's getting or Ewok getting your line, even this is going to have that same problem. But you've got range four against Ewoks. Like they're going to walk want, a long ways before they get to you. That's the hope. I mean, like I want an open table. I want to shoot white saves, but sometimes yeah. they get lanes, they get things to hide behind, and uh, you don't have the sight lines out to four. So no, that's true. That's true. Okay. Um, what would what is your fondest or most memorable in-game moment of Legion? Yeah, I mean, like Third of Worlds last year wasn't bad, but like I think what was better, um, or what felt what what made Worlds feel like Worlds for me was actually the the game I had earlier in the tournament, um, where I was playing on stream. I think you were broadcasting that game against probably. Uh, yeah. yeah, against uh, Peter and uh, from New Zealand. And, yeah. uh, you know, the dice swung in my favor. That was good, whatever. But, like, it was so much fun. Um, it felt like a world tournament playing against people from all over the world. Okay. And that, that, made, um, that made the tournament feel different than, you know, we've, I've done Vegas yeah. for a bunch of years and done a bunch of big tournaments, but worlds felt different. And that made it that was fun. the first really like international feeling one for us out here in the states. Yeah. That's yeah. true. That's cool. I mean, Vegas sometimes you get a couple, but yeah, yeah. But now with Adepticon, yes, yes, it is. Especially so close to Adepticon, like time time wise, right. like not many people want to make the trip internationally, January and March, right? So. Uh, what about non-game moment? What's your favorite non-game moment of Legion? 
Uh, 5280 travels well. So the traveling, like bringing a big, big crew and uh, going together, like it is so much fun hanging out and playing with these guys. Um, our flights to Vegas, um, there's, I don't need, I don't even remember how many we had. We had five, six, seven of us. We had rows of the airplane full of people with Nintendo oh, switches man. playing Mario Kart. You know, we go, oh, we go man. hard and uh we nerd hard and uh, <laughs> we're go we're bringing it to chicago so oh that's uh, sweet yeah you guys coordinate your your seats and everything well, we fly southwest we're cheap so oh, okay okay <laughs> we get on at the same time and we sit in the back of the bus and i got gotcha. you usually room for us but, i got gotcha. uh, yeah it's a good it's a it's a great time traveling and playing with these guys so that's, that's fun that's, yeah. cool cool um all right what what other questions we got here uh are there any specific players you want to play against or avoid any players that you're worried about I, I or mean, that you I just yeah i I'd, I'd love a rematch with luke mm, i i yeah. haven't uh you know i played him a couple times he's gotten me on kill points in one that you know the game in the semifinals he got me on well more than kill points that was pretty well decided <laughs> um, yeah i i'd love i i don't i i mean you know the way the way this tournament is going to go you're going to have to play against tough players mm -hmm. and uh there every round is going to be tough and you know it's going to be you know it's march it's going to be march madness style one loss you're out so yeah um, yeah it's you know get the tough matches out go go play the hard players i'd I'd love a rematch okay. with Luke, so. that's what i like to hear no fear cool okay i get you know i'll i'll, I'll crash and burn day one it's fine <laughs> I, I proved all i needed to prove last year, I don't have this year so. oh i like it i like it uh okay uh what about is there a fun fact about you as a person that others might not know, might be surprised about? Oh, you know, my fun fact is usually like that I play minis and things, but no. that's, <laughs> right. that's so with the mini crowd, what's my fun fact? Yeah. Um, my it's so my day job, uh, I am an aerospace engineer. So my day job is spaceships. So, oh, wow. Let's work on uh, the Dream Chaser space plane. I did work on that for a couple of years. And now I work on satellites and uh, doing defensey satellite space stuff. So, okay. Can space you space theoretically space. arbitrarily say that you're a rocket scientist then? Almost I, kind of. You know, I sometimes I told, working with rockets. I, no, I'm an aerospace engineer. You can say okay. I, I okay. rides on rockets. I'm a, I'm a rocket scientist. There you go. We've got a yeah. genuine rocket scientist coming to the worlds. I love it. That, that's a super cool job. It sounds fun. There's a lot of engineers and aeros like Luke Cook is, I think he's in school to be an aerospace engineer. And oh, there's man. a bunch of, or he was, I think he's probably working now. I don't know what he's, what he's doing. But okay. It is a, uh, common affliction of people who play <laughs> star wars legion we attract the the game attracts the same type of people okay that's cool uh and the last question is do you have any local store or club that you'd like to shout out oh is that is that this <laughs> yeah. 5280 yeah. lead yeah 5280 for sure we'll we'll call them out uh total escape games is where we kind of play and run our leagues out of they've been super supportive in denver uh, correct yep in okay. westminster and denver yep okay. whole area so we if you're playing in colorado we call you 5280 hop on our discord jump to our facebook which will point you to our discord that's where the party's at but uh, nice yeah for sure um I can attest they're a great group of guys. Lots of fun. Cool. Absolutely. Well, thank you for submitting to this interview with us. And we're excited to see you in Chicago. All right. Sounds good. All right. That's no moon.